There's an old trend in Western and Australian saddles that is just barely beginning to hit the English riding community, and that's what I'm talking about in this video. And that trend comes in the form of stirrup leathers, or I guess fenders if you're talking about Western saddles. What we've seen in the Western and Australian saddles for decades, not, if not centuries honestly, is a much wider stirrup leather compared to the little tiny narrow English ones. I mean, just take a look at this chart for comparison. You can see the Western and Australian are this broad, uniquely shaped design where the English ones are super skinny little strips of leather. Why have these English ones been these little teeny tiny skinnies for so long? I mean, honestly, I think nobody has really paid much attention to stirrup leathers and they've kind of looked at it like, eh, if it ain't broke, then don't fix it. But that is for sure gonna change in the coming years. Because the reality is there's a ton of benefits to be had by wider bodied stirrups that Western and Aussie saddles are already seeing. And honestly, it's only really been in the last couple of years that it's caught on in English, but to see, to say that it caught on is like still kind of a misnomer because wide stirrup leathers in English saddles, dressage, or jump are super fringe. You barely see any of them. I mean, if I had to guess on the stats because I don't have the real numbers, I mean, you're probably thinking like one or 2% of English riders are using wider body stirrups. I mean, it's still super low. So the reason I'm making this video is to hopefully just explain why these other disciplines have had it right for so long and why you're probably going to see a lot more wide body stirrups on English saddles in the coming few years. If you're enjoying this video, even just a little bit, would you please consider subscribing to the channel and sharing this video with a friend? It will make a huge difference in helping us develop more and more interesting videos as we go on. Okay, now let's Let's head over to our fake horse and our fake barn and in just a matter of a minute or two make it all make sense. Welcome to fake land ranch. Unfortunately it's snowing today. Oh wait, actually it's a sunny day. All right, joking aside, here's the two main reasons why leathers are just better in most cases. Now, first, it's because when you're riding in the saddle, you don't feel the leathers under your leg nearly as much. And that's simply because they're so wide, they kind of smooth out the transition from the flap to the stirrup leather back to the flap. Where if you compare them to traditional skinny leathers, it's the same height off the surface of the flap, but the skinny leathers are so narrow, it's a much like a bigger step up and step down over the flap, which is why you feel regular leathers so much more prominently. And the reason number two that the, stir the wide stirrup leathers are just such an improvement is that they lend for a more stable, quieter leg. The reason is similar in that they're so wide, they have a better grip on the flap, so they resist swinging and they resist twisting, so it just lends to a more stable feel overall. And that's about it. So that's all I got for you. Um, I appreciate you watching. If you could like, subscribe, share the video, I would be immensely grateful. And until I see you next time, have a nice day.